All right, today I got a Chicago electric portable generator. This is from the same friend I did the Husqvarna trimmer for. He got this from for free and he's never run it, so he wants me to see if he, I can get it running. So I will see what I can do. It's 800 watts, 900 max watts. So this is just how I grabbed it. I didn't do nothing to it. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. It needs to be clean, but I'll do that later. All right, now I want to see what it'll do. So here's choke. It's got fuel in it. It's a two-stroke. Dirty. You can see stuff in here. I should make sure that it's got oil in it. Yep. So that should be good. So let's just see what it'll do. It looks like this is a mixing cap. Mixing thing, that's pretty cool. So let's see what it'll do without anything. So switch on. Choke is on. All right, now we'll try the, the ether bunny. It was promising, huh? It's just gonna keep doing that, so I'm gonna have to take it apart and then clean the carb. No, somebody put a hole here. Let's see, it's, I don't know, I guess access to the carb. I don't know. Probably should have a new panel there, but. And then the spark plug right here. Well, I was going to test spark, but it doesn't pay to now because I know it, how it works. But this boot is it's pretty crappy. But the wire part's good on it, so I'm sure it would work, but I probably could use a new one. Alright, looks like this is metric. I'm sure it was made in China, so... Not surprising, huh? All right. So I can turn the fuel off here. Alright. 
this is plug and play here, so not a big deal. There's a zip tie in it. What's left? Eh, it does have an air cleaner. But a lot of good it does when there's a hole in it like that. So I gotta get this off of here. A bolt there, and probably these two. It's got oil, there's oil right here. try and find a new cover here because that air cleaner ain't gonna do anything like that. Then it'll be interesting to see if it'll actually power something. And here it is. I took this stud right out. I was able to turn it like this to get the linkage. Let's grab it with a vice grip. Yeah, this feel line is pretty, pretty rotten. All right, let's see what this thing is like. Hard to see. <clears throat> there we go. A little bit of movement. It just, that just smells terrible. And some crappy gas. But was there water in there? I think it's just old. It doesn't even smell like gas. It smells like ass. So I think the needle's actually stuck in the seat because it won't come out. Usually they just come right out even if they're not crappy. There it comes. There's no way that thing was getting gas because when your, your needle's stuck in there. Ew. She got ethanol -y. You ain't gonna be able to see it, but in here it's green. Green and gooey. So I'm gonna get the air compressor going and spray everything out with air, clean it, and then it'll be back. All right, carb is clean. This is the only hose I have for like a regular snowblower or lawnmower. It fits. 
but not quite as snug as the old one. But it might work. I'll see. You know, I really don't know why they punched a hole in this to get the car because two bolts would have taken it off. I don't know. You never know with people, huh? Peoples. Cover on, putting these two bolts on here. The gaskets on. All right. So I'm not gonna put this on. I'm just gonna hold the wires back up. Make some fuel line here. Then if I even get it running, then it's gonna be will it charge? Or I'm not charge, but will it produce power? And then I wanna get a new panel for this. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with a, a different hose because I don't like this one. I think it's gonna kink right here. Because it has to bend from there to there. So I'm gonna, I think I'll go to the hardware store or wherever tomorrow and get a lighter duty hose like this one. It'll bend a little bit more, more flexible. But for now I can try it like this. Let's just see what she'll do here. I'm gonna put the gas on. Choke. Actually, too. Especially not sitting like that, I ain't gonna get fuel. Um, let's see here. Closer. a bunch of messing around with the with the choke needs uh 
full choke at times to run and then oh, run out. It could still be something in the car that's dirty, but I probably don't have a lot of fuel in it either, and I can't keep it from keep continuously feeding it. So I want to get the proper fuel line on it first, and then I'll try it again. But in the meantime, I should order this cover if I can find it. And get that coming. Get the number off of here. All right. So what I'm going to do with this cover is I'm just going to plastic weld this. I'm going to fill this. I'm going to use these plastic strips, and I'll fill it. I'll reinforce it with screen in the back, and I'll try to make it look as good as I can. But it sucks that the new cover is the wrong one. But they must have updated. Updated it, there's a different version, but I was actually ordered the same part number. So, I'll have to fix this one. So here's what it looks like before. All right, so I'm just using a regular soldering iron. I am putting the screen, aluminum screen, or metal, whatever it is. You don't want to use fiberglass, obviously, because it'll melt. And I'll, I'll smoothen this out. So I'm using this regular soldering iron. But I also have a one that came out with a plastic welding kit with a bigger end on it. So I'll be able to melt faster. So I kind of use both of them. And then this will be probably stronger than it originally was. It's already really strong but when you add that screen it really it, you're just melting it into the original plastic and it really adds strength this should shouldn't even look that bad when i'm done with it so i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done and all i'm doing is melting it like this but the stuff is is yucky i wear I wear this when I do it. That's not the best smelling stuff. All right, so here's what it looks like. It's pretty much done. It's a little bit rough, but it's not bad. I mean, for a cover, I mean. And then this is reinforced with screen. It's in the back side. So, not the worst. It's better than a big hole. It's completely sealed. Now, on the main panel, this is broke. So while I got the soldering irons out, I might as well fix that too all right so here's how the front panel turned out the plastic welding on the generator I mean, it's not a perfect job but it's it'll definitely do the trick you can see it's all fixed down here so that'll work it's pretty tough All right, I picked up this ultrasonic cleaner and I got the generator carb in, it, in the Ziploc bag and I have gasoline in it. I'm gonna clean it in gas. Uh, I actually double bagged it, but the sound waves will go through the bag, through the liquid and everything. 
Only thing I gotta do is I gotta put, since I'm in Wisconsin, I gotta put some antifreeze. I got some RV um, antifreeze I'm gonna put in the water. Otherwise, I'm just doing it this way. You can, I got this off Steve's Engine Saloon channel. He did a couple videos on this ultrasonic cleaners. And this way, you don't have to change your water all the time. You just, you know. Once I get the right jar, maybe like a pickle jar, I couldn't find any, but jars work good too. Uh, peanut butter jars, stuff like that. I heard glass works better than plastic jars, but I don't know. But this works too. I just dispose of it after. and So I had it in the car this carbon for know, about 15 minutes. But it wasn't that dirty to begin with, but I might put it in again for a while, maybe 10 more minutes. So I'll turn it on and you can kind of see how it's not real pleasant of a noise, but I don't know what the camera will pick up. Alright, so here's the carb. That's probably got about 20-25 minutes on it. So hopefully it got in there in the little jets and stuff. The outside's a lot cleaner. <clears throat> the bowl's cleaner, but it could be better on the inside. So what I'll do is I'll blow it out and I'll clean it again manually and we'll see how it works. All right, so with the carb clean, put it back on. Let's see what it'll do. It should be on. Choke.
know, it might be a little too much for it. I think it's still carb related. I want to see if I can find a new one. Usually you can buy carbs for pretty much cheaper than you can buy a rebuild kit or on the same or just slightly higher. So I'll see what I can find. Plus this one really needed gaskets. It needed uh, for sure the bowl gasket and then the gaskets between the carb and the, the engine and the cowling. So I'll see if I can find a new one. All right, so I got a new carb for the generator. It came with a hose. Carb and then gaskets. So I got the gaskets that I needed. And here's the carb. 15 bucks shipped. So I'm going to throw her on and we'll see how it works. Alright, new carb is on. So let's see what she'll do. Switch is on. Full choke. Gas is on. The ether bunny. See how it starts on its own. I'll try without choke. All right, we'll try the generator one more time.
I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then that's it. There she is, all cleaned up. I just got some of the grease off the top there and I'm gonna call that good. <laughs>